Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> um, I just thought I would uh, come on and do this page. Um, finish off this page that I had started and I thought I'll do it on camera so you guys can see it also. So this is the page that I'm talking about. There's a little bird, a robin and a tree and you know, it's really pretty and I just really like it. It's a new stamp set I got and a magazine and I'm just kind of trying to organise myself here guys so just give me a sec um, so I'm just trying to see what I've got here you know, to work with so we've got red sorry guys, give me two seconds I really should have done this before I turned the camera on but here you know, I've done it now so we want that colour and we want a kind of brown, is this going to be alright? Should we go away? That one. Right, so, uh, I'm dropping everything everywhere. Um, what did I do with my... There we go. So, yeah, I'm just going to play and see what happens. So, I'm just going to make a little colour palette type thing here, paint palette, just on the table itself. You know what, I'm not going to do it on the table itself, I'm going to do it on a index card. Because I'm no shortage of them. So I'm just going to do some silver. And I want to go over it with silver first, so we'll just put what I'm thinking. If I add a wee bit of blue in with that. Just a wee bit of metallic blue. And since the two of them nah it's not working the way I want it to work. That's two. It's more silver I think. Just put another dose of silver in here. Try and give it a mix. This may be a long video, guys. I'm trying, I'm trying my best. I'm trying to get videos out for you and try to stay motivated, and I don't know if I like this. Mm, I don't like that. But we'll see. So I'm just gonna. Go over this, and I'm not like being perfect at it. I'm just playing, so I'm just kind of oh no, I got that one. You want that? It's alright. Basically, I'm trying to make it look kind of snowy looking, and I don't want it just all white because. You know, when it snows, it goes that kind of, the sky goes that dead greyish way and you can usually tell when it's going to snow by just looking at the sky. There's usually a bit of purple on there as well, but I don't know where my purple paint is, so this will just need to do. And I'm just going to try and I can wipe this off a wee bit just to, so I don't want it like fully on there, I just want it wee bits. There's still some white in there. So, that is what we have so far. And I know you can't really see it that well in the. like, camera and stuff, but. So, we do want it kind of white, but we want it. you know, we want some more colour in here. Go. 
just going to smudge that out. And then what I'll do is I'll try and find a marked page, like here, that I can put that on as well, the excess. And I love working with these kind of, like with the sponge and stuff because it dries so quick because you're only putting a little thin layer on there so it does dry quite quick. Where's that page now? <laughs> I've lost the page. Um, I've lost the page, guys. I was working on. <laughs> oh dear! I should have put the paper clip on. It shouldn't have. Um, here we go. In fact, that's what we're doing. But where is my paper clip? I've seen it somewhere in here. And I don't know where. There is a paper clip there, but I think I have more paper clips. Oh my god! Sorry, guys. Just. I'll leave that a bit of a paper pan or something. Um, so have we got white? We have a white gelato. So we'll see how that goes. Just to add a bit more on here. But I've got a feeling this is just going to rub the paint off. But we'll see. And we, we even have some grey on here too. So we can put that on as well. Just to should I really wait to this paint was probably dried first though. Right, so we will get baby wipe and kind of activate it, hopefully without rubbing it off completely. There we go. And then I'll get my a brush, my water brush, and try my hardest to um, paint this little bulb. That's more a purpley colour in it, it's not brown. That's not brown. Ugh. I want to see if I can find another. I'm going to pause guys, give me two seconds. Right, I think I found the colours that I need. Oh, you're kidding me on, did I just put that back in there? You know what, I think I have. <laughs> no, I've got it out, let's see. Clean this up a little bit because it's been mixed in with the other ones. So I think these will do, so we'll just try it and see and hope for the best, guys. Mm, it's not exactly brown, but. I suppose it'll do. So there's the fun and games I may try to cover this without making a complete mess. Although I'm not too fussed if I do make a bit of a mess because oh, it's just fun. It's no like eating. It doesn't need to be perfect. So if I go out the lines then I go out my lines. I don't care. I'm not very good at watercolour either, so I don't do it very often, so yeah, I think that looks not too bad. Doesn't look not too bad. No. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm just kind of. I'll just get my paintbrush clean again. Right, now I want a red. Because he's a red robin. This is really runny, guys. Just kind of out of like a shadow, but uh, really runny. In fact, I might actually just. Yeah. Oh no, that's too red, isn't it? But uh, we'll see. Maybe I could add a bit more orange and 
brown in here. I just want to make them a wee bit darker. Just to fix that kind of oops there. So it makes it look like I meant it. <laughs> so I've covered them in. Here he is. I know the greatest. It is out the lines a wee bit, but oh well. There he is. So I just need to um, do his beak now. That should be fun. So, where is his beak? Oh, his beak's going to be orange. So. Give him a nice orange beak. I can't remember if Robins do have orange beaks or yellow. I can't remember, but I'm giving him an orange beak anyway. He's cute. He's looking cute. <laughs> and now we just need to fill it in the leaves and stuff. So we'll just try and use this again. Try and do these leaves. So they're going to be like browns and yellows and greens. Not so much greens, but browns and yellows and reds and stuff so I hope you can still see okay I think we can though I don't want to zoom these in too much because when I zoom these in too much the camera goes really really blurry so I'm trying not to zoom these in too much And this one is just a pure mess. I'm really going outside the lines for this one, but hey ho. colours in there just to give me some different colours. This is really a fuss for me because I really hate painting things um, because I can't stay in the lights. <laughs> So this is a kind of fuss for me, doing this. I'm really no use to like, killing things in like this. But it's fun I suppose, it is relaxing so I ain't complaining. And then we'll make like the flowers, a kind of mixture of orange and stuff as well. Because, just cause they're open colours so. Although, I shouldn't have really put the flowers on here because <laughs> you don't get many flowers in the winter or even autumn. But, I don't know. I'm going to leave the birch tree as is. Um, I'm not going to mess with that. But, <laughs> That's not looking not too bad. I'm probably got paint all over me. I don't know, but it's not looking not too bad. It's quite pretty. There we go. And then what I do want to do if I can find it now, because I don't want to wait any more. I'm just hoping this stamps out no too bad, you know, because. I don't know where my stamp pad I don't know where anything is guys. Like you're probably going, you don't know where this is, you don't know where that is. I don't know where anything is. I've got a habit of tidying up, putting stuff away and no remembering where I put them. So, and I've got this cute little girl here, little girl stamp. So, I 
been looking use her for a while and I've never used her. And she's got two little doggies. She's got a wee doggy and a wee bear here as well. So I'm me at them, I don't know. But I'm gonna try and add her. And I don't know if I'm gonna colour her on camera because uh, it is like really hard for me to colour and the time it takes and it'd be alright if I could speed up. So I don't know if maybe he's want to um, speed up through me doing this. Um, I don't know. You know, because you can speed up when you're watching. Look, see, look how dry my pad is. <sighs> I bet you can't put her on now. Like my pad is so dry, it's unbelievable. So I'm just trying to get as much ink on there as I can. I really need to, um, well like I get it on my hands but I can't get it on the stamp. Why is that? Well, maybe there is enough on it and I'm just not looking properly. I want to try and get like our facial features in there. We're holding up a snowflake. I want to try and get every wee detail in there because but I'm not using my stamp block so it's not going to pick it up great anyway but I just want to try and make sure every bit is inked up so especially her face right let's try it guys if it doesn't work it doesn't work but I don't know it's just a junk journal so and I know I've said that about four times and I'm not using it as an excuse for my messy work but <laughs> Right, maybe I'm not using it as an excuse Well she actually turned out not too bad <laughs> Her face is a bit weird though <laughs> Like her smile went a bit weird though It's like she's trying to see ooh or something like that <laughs> she told me it's not too bad considering. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's just her mouth's a wee bit messed up. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if this is the stamp I sent to. Um, I don't think it is, so it might have been another one that I sent. I'm trying to remember if this is the stamp I sent to Sunny. But it was one similar to it because it, they had a sale and it works with these stamps and I bought two. Um, I don't know if I want the bear because like... No, I don't want the bear. Um, and I bought two because I forgot I had the other one. And I sent the other one to Sunny. And she f I had sent it in like the acetate. Like that, I'd cut it up and just put it up put it up and she thought it was just the acetate and she realised it was the actual stamp I'd sent her. So I'm going to attempt to put the little doggy on but I don't know if it'll work because my ink is really low guys. Maybe I'll wish for some on the, like the wishing begin. I don't know. I'll probably just buy it. <laughs> I don't think this is going to turn out too well, but I think it turned out not too bad as well actually, that's cute. <laughs> there we go, he's turned out not too bad. Um, so yeah, I think I'll colour her at, um, I'll colour her, like, off camera guys, because I just realised she had like a little owl type thing at the bottom of it. Um, so I'll try and colour this off camera because I just, I really don't. <laughs> I'll be right back guys, I'm just going to go and grab some glue. Alright, back. So, now what I want to do is put some snowflakes on this page. I use my Bible for one, but who cares? 
so I want to put some snowflakes on. I'm not going to put Christmas trees on because I don't really want it to be Christmas themed. I just want it to be like an autumn or winter, you know. But then again, <laughs> our autumns are usually like winter, so <laughs> there's not much difference. Snowflakes. I'm really enjoying using this stuff up that Tammy sent me. Um, like I have got a lot of sequins and stuff, but I think because she's got them so organised in this little thing, it's uh, making me use them more because they're organised. All I need now is for somebody to come to my house and properly organise for me, so I know where everything is. <laughs> So I think we'll stick a few more on. Maybe not as much as I've got here, but we'll stick a couple more on. And I, I like the way I made the tree kind of snowy as well. I went over that with the gesso to make it look snowy. I was going to write something on it, but I don't think I've got much room to write. I've not left myself much of a room. Oh well, after me saying I'll probably not use as many as I've got there, I've used them. <laughs> and then we will put a few of these little things on as well. In between. Just need to find the right ones. Right colours that I want to use. I'm just going to put a few of these dotted here and there as well. Some of the white ones to make it look like flakes of snow as well. In between the big ones. I could get away with some little blue dots on here, I think. I like it. It's so pretty. So now we get to glue on the little teeny weeny dots. What I might do, let's put a blue there. Let's do the white. It's going to be kind of a white blue, white blue, white blue type thing because I should actually get two bottles of this. But it's really strong stuff. Usually. If I put it on right, it's really strong. <laughs> Watch this, I'll say that and it'll be like, it'll fall off. Either well, another white and another blue, don't we? So it looks weird here. So we need another blue and another white. And like she sent me tons of these. Like when I first got it, <laughs> all of these had fell out. These little things I'm using just now had all fell out into the the bag, and I had to like try and get them all out. Missing something up here, or not? 
Should we put an all snowflake up here? Maybe? I think we should. And it's nice because the little girl is actually holding a snowflake. So it's quite cute. There we go. That's pretty. I like that. That's really pretty. I'm just going to cover her off camera because, like, we're at 25 minutes already, and um, I need the, the next update video or the next time I'm doing another page in here, then I'll show you it all finished. There you go. Pretty. I like it, it's pretty. And I need to do something with this as well because I don't like that, it looks stupid. But um, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. So we'll try and get it on the page and try and get a picture took. Uh, what I want to do is uh, cover this page up. I don't really see it. There we go. Nice picture. Um, and it shows the stamp set that I used as well. So. There you go guys. I hope that inspires you to go make a nice autumn slash winter page in your journals. Um, just be using stamps and little bits and bobs that you've got. And a few bits of paint. But it just shows you how easy it is just to do some art. Just be getting a few sequins and you know um, you can get the sequins cheap enough and pick up a, a few wee cheap set stamps and some paint and there you go and the paint I'm using isn't even the greatest either it's just um, ready mixed paint so it's not even that great but it does a good job so there you go guys I hope you liked the video if you did please give me a thumbs up comment and share um, I'd really appreciate it um, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Oh, nearly spilled my water.